Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll be having a look at Volta trucks. What exactly is Volta trucks and how big are Volta trucks? Volta trucks is an Anglo-Swedish startup company with manufacturers and provider services for zero emission electric trucks. The company's registered office are in Stockholm, Sweden and in London, UK. With significant operations in both countries as well as France, now this EV company was created 5 years ago in 2017 and it mostly focused on electric vehicles, specifically electric delivery vehicles, anything from electric trucks to electric delivery vans. And these will come in a range of different sizes, but in early development of these vehicles, Volta Truck's main focus is to focus on urban areas. Areas that suffer from high intensity and carbon emission, areas that require less congestions of vehicles. Simply by having cleaner and bigger delivery vehicles in these areas will significantly reduce carbon emissions and it will reduce delivery vehicles on the road. <coughs> Now additionally, because of these urban distribution areas that Volta Trucks are mostly focused on, Volta Trucks isn't currently focused on autonomous driving, simply because in urban delivery, a human being will have to be taking delivery stocks in and out of the vehicles. This is something that we don't have the technology and robotics to fully compete in. So we still require humans to complete these jobs. So naturally the focus is to have a human operating the entire vehicle instead of, instead of focusing on self-driving capabilities when it's not a necessity, especially for urban delivery vehicles. Now throughout the roadmap for Volta vehicles, later in their vehicles development, they do intend on working on self-driving and autonomous capabilities in the future, which is good. I think that's really good for Volta. So let's get down to the finer details about the Volta trucks specifically. In September 2020, Volta trucks launched the Volta Zero, a purposely built full electric 16 ton vehicle that's designed for city center freight deliveries. The first demonstration was designed by Asthemer in Warwick, UK and manufactured by Prod Drive Advanced Engineering in Bankbury, UK. Volta Trucks is due to start manufacturing the Volta Zeros for customers trials by the end of 2021, which was last year if I might add because I'm currently making this video in 2022 in February. So with series production due to commence by the end of 2022, in February 2021 Volta Trucks announced that it had raised a further 20 million of new investments. The New York based investment firm Luxor Capital, led by funding round and representatives the company's largest single investors, joining previous leaders, joining previous lead investor Stockholm Base. Now this is quite important because recently Volta has raised over 600 Volta has raised over 260 million at a 490 million valuation to get an all electric truck into production by the end of 2022. This is significant. Just one year ago, in fact, exactly one year ago, Volta only initially had about 20 million in investment funds. One year later, they have over 260 million in investments. This is enough to propel them into huge production for their vehicles. Now with this 260 million in investment, Volta will be using the money to fund engineering and business operations ahead of the first truck rolling off the assembly line, on the back of what looks like a healthy list of investors and customers. Now these vehicles are purposely built commercial freight vehicles that are designed for the urban freight distribution, which is currently totaling over 1.2 billion euros covering more than 5,000 vehicles. Volta wider business strategy will base both on selling trucks as well as offering vehicles on truck as a service model. Now let's go back into some of the origins of Volta trucks. They were founded in 2017 by Scandinavian series entrepreneur Carl Magnus Norden and co-founder Kajel Walian. Engineering concept and product valuation took place throughout 2018 and work on the first demonstrator vehicle started in 2019. Now in June 2020, Volta Trucks confirmed the first pilot fleet trials of the Volta Zero of the Volta Zero would be undertaken by Bring and Posten, the Nordic distributor of parcel 
cargo, and mail. So in December 2020, Volta Trucks announced a strategic partnership with Petit Forestia and their 1,000 vehicle orders of full electric refrigerated vehicles, believed to be the European's largest single order of large electric commercial vehicles. Now in February 2021, Volta Trucks announced a US EV technology solution company, Proterra, as the battery supplier of the Volta Zero. So of course, this was quite significant as well. Now something that additionally happened in February 2021, the company confirmed appointments of Meritor as the drivetrain component supplier, claiming that Volta Zero would be Europe's first commercial vehicle to use an innovative e-axle to drive the rear wheels. Partnership with other global tier one suppliers announced includes Bridgestone who supplies tires for the Volta Zero launch vehicles and pilot fleets. And in April 2021, Volta Trucks announced the appointments of new chief executive officer and executive chairman as it prepared to move ahead with the next stage of its corporation development. So of course this is quite significant for Volta Trucks. Now additionally, I found it quite interesting in the strategy of manufacturing of Volta trucks. They claim that there is enough space capacity in the automotive industry to be able to contract manufacturers rather than building their own production facility, thereby reducing costs and environmental impact. That's a really interesting strategy and it's a really quick way to build vehicles and to get them into market as soon as possible. Now I do believe that short term, this is a very smart strategy to use to be profitable, to be successful short term. However, long term in the next 10, 20, 30, 50 years, if Volta trucks intend to stay around for a long time, they will eventually need their own manufacturing facilities. Because a lot of manufacturing facilities will wake up to the idea that a lot of companies are transitioning to electric vehicles their factory might be more useful in other companies hands other companies such as volkswagen legacy automakers such as mercedes or bmws who can afford to pay them a lot more money for their factories it will be a very competitive space that's the ev world and volta needs to prepare for this because other companies have huge amount of money that they can just throw at any company and any problems to find a solution do not have an unlimited supply of money like BMW, Mercedes or VW. They're a startup and as a startup, they're going to need their own factories and they don't have to be the biggest factories, but they at least need somewhere to start, something to start with. But that's just my personal opinion. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like if I missed anything in this video. Leave a like and leave a comment if I missed anything in this video. Let's have a discussion. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.